Human beings have been seeking happiness for as long as we've been around. Great moral teachers throughout history and across cultures have been pointing the way to happiness and well-being through lives filled with meaning, compassion, moderation, learning, and responsibility to the community. Aristotle taught the tenets of eudaimonia, or thriving. Buddha showed the path to nirvana. Confucius emphasized virtue. Hillel the Elder lived by the Golden Rule. Jesus preached forgiveness, humility, and love. And Muhammad taught that happiness lies in the wealth of the heart rather than in material wealth. Meeting our material needs is surely important for well-being, but it is not enough. The path of happiness is far different than the relentless pursuit of wealth. Today's world is indeed very wealthy. In 2018, world output measured in international prices was around $135 trillion, or a remarkable average of $17,500 per person. Yet happiness is still wanting. Part of the reason is the vast and unfair gap between the rich and the poor. We have an obligation to help the poor for their happiness and also for our own. Yet even in the richest countries, unhappiness persists because of unwise policies, excessive consumerism, and the neglect of important values. Some of the richest societies in the world suffer from epidemics of substance abuse, behavioral addictions, and the lack of mental health services for those in need. Pollution and climate change add to the burdens of unhappiness. Yet there is hope. More and more people, individuals, communities, businesses, and governments are realizing that there are better pathways to happiness and well-being. Many governments around the world are starting to put happiness and well-being at the center of their public policies. To support this effort, world experts are now producing an annual Global Happiness and Well-Being Policy Report a compendium of demonstrated practices for governments, businesses, schools, city planners, health systems, and other institutions in society. This is a kind of policy handbook for happiness and well-being. In the 2019 report, we explore case studies on six themes, healthcare, positive education, ethical work and business, personal happiness, happy cities, and policies for government. We are living in exciting times with adjustments in lifestyles, in personal and national goals, and in public policies, it is possible to raise happiness and well-being around the world. This year's Happiness and Well-Being Policy Report offers practical tools for a more peaceful, meaningful, satisfied, and happier world.